first thing first, I think the most important one or the most common one, or at least the most, let's say, volume one will be alkylation and the alkylation reactions. So probably you know from your organic course or uh, chemistry or organic chemistry that alkylation is essentially the addition of one alkyl group to an organic compound. And what I mean with alkyl group is essentially just a chain of carbon and hydrogen containing uh, material or substance. And this is very common done with the Friedel-Craft uh, catalyst, which is this one here, in presence of any acid here. So look at this, you have your benzene, six carbons, and you have this guy right here, which is one, two, three, four carbons, and the bromide. You add the catalyst, and in presence of hydrogen bromide, and you will have two possibilities. Actually, in this right here, which is the first isomer, and the second isomer is right here. One, two, three, four, four carbons. One, two, three, four, four carbons. But here, of course, you can see it's one, and you can see here this is in two, two different structures. So what I'm wanting to tell you here is, is that you can join substances together and of course if this sells more than the original one which I think it's true because benzene is relatively cheap compared to other organic materials well why not react that and also the case for isobutane you have it here and you add it propane in hydrogen or sorry in acidic uh, let's say not catalyst but uh, it must be present on acidic solution you can join them and you will have what is the alkylate 2,4 dimethyl pentane now for the case of the alkylation is essentially breaking down uh, alkyl molecules into other small molecules and this is pretty common in petrochemicals because many chemicals which are long enough let's say the cane and all those guys with huge numbers well I think it's very common to bring them down into at least two or three carbons depending on the market and on the business demand etc and this is called cracking a very important process the most common catalysts are silica in alumina or silica in magnesia and even clays so let me show you what's that you have here and you break, you add a little bit hydrogen and you break it down into six carbons, plus several carbons and two carbons. You got nine carbons and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, you have here nine carbons. So from a molecule having nine carbons, you get a molecule having seven carbons and other molecule having two carbons, which probably this one will not be that economic convenient, but maybe this is also not at the moment able to ship or sell so why produce that let's break it down to maybe cheaper uh, compounds but at least we know they there there is demand also this one right here is toluene plus now this is uh, yeah toluene plus hydrogen is going to give you benzene plus methane once again this depends on the uh, business for example or the demand toluene and benzene are very common so benzene is cheap yes toluene is cheap yes so why even bother changing from toluene to benzene? Well, maybe you are not able to sell that much toluene. And the benzene, you know, it's a good market. Even though it's cheap, you can sell a lot and then there's no problem. And methane, you can actually use it to generate energy, which you will need in your plant. So that's how you start playing with this. And let me give you an insight on the chemistry or the on, on the engineering part because I love this is essentially the difference between studying chemistry or a chemist and this one is studying chemical engineering it's essentially doing on the big scale you're going to have many towers absorption towers and some are uh, isomerization and in this case you will see the cracker actually and probably uh, yeah the cracker is this one here cracker unit then it goes and separates each of the components don't think it's only one stream with one compound it's a stream with a lot of compounds and the cracker 
what does essentially is to bring down the molecules. So good guys, you just keep doing it. You have also these are crackers, they are even towers, like huge towers, or they are like here as I told you, they are inside this building. And that's everything on alkylation on the alkylation. <laughs>